Hello and welcome. In this video, I will be stepping you through connecting your Trimble R12 GNS receiver with your DJI Mavic 3. Uh, this video will step you through the process to getting RTK corrections using a Trimble GNSS receiver and every step that it takes to connect the two of them or pair the two of them up so you can get these corrections. So let's get into it. Those of you who are Trimble experts may recognize that this Trimble GNS receiver is not in fact an R12 but an R10. However, the connection process between uh, Trimble GNSS R10s and R12s is essentially the same thing with DJI drones. So for all intensive purposes, this is an R12. And uh, the important thing to remember with these rovers are they must be base station compatible because there are certain options you can buy. Uh, the cheaper receivers are in fact not a base station, they're only a receiver. Um, these will not connect with the drone. Uh, you need to get the uh, base station compatible rover. So this one is base station compatible and the connection process, uh, we'll step through that on how to actually link the two of them up and get the process of uh, the corrections underway. So the first step is to connect and turn on your GNSS receiver and also connect and turn on your DJI Mavic and the controller. So once your, uh, your rover is turned on, your drone is turned on, the controller is turned on, uh, the controller and the drone will instantly connect with each other. Uh, the first step is to swipe down from the top. It may need to be a double swipe. And what you will see is the Wi-Fi on that top left-hand corner in the middle of the screen is not connected to anything. So if you tap and hold, you will be able to find uh, the Trimble GNSS and the code for it. So you can click onto your Trimble GNSS receiver and it, uh, it links up using this process here and then it is connected. So what you can do is go into the settings of this Trimble GNSS 7751. Uh, you also will have a different code and in the advanced settings it will show the IP address. So this is important to be able to connect your receiver with uh, the drone and this is in the DJI Pilot app where you'll need to remember this address. So uh, the code that we have there is 192.168.142.1. Uh, so we'll need to remember that, but for the moment we have connected our receiver through Wi-Fi with our controller. So when this is finished, we can swipe back up and we can go into the browser. Uh, we have Firefox here, so we can tap on that. And in the uh, search or enter address, you can type in that IP address. So for us, that was 192.168.142.1 and search. So this then pops up the R10 web GUI and pops up with a username and a password. So if I can tap on straight in the middle to the R10 web GUI and then you have to type in a username and a password. So I think the standard thing for Trimble is the user is admin, A-D-M-I-N, and the password is simply password. So P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. And we'll save that. And up in the middle of the screen, there's Show Classic Web GUI. We can click on that. 
and then we have all of our settings here. So the first thing to do is once you're in the web GUI, you can go to the receiver configuration and the antenna. So what you need to do is set up your antenna height to be uh, whatever your preference is. Uh, what we typically do is we change this to the bottom of quick release. We have the extension uh, to then make our pole height set on two meters. Maybe different depending on how you do yours, but ours is set on the two meters and lower the keyboard. So we've got our antenna height, bottom of quick release, antenna height is two meters. And we do want to apply the correction to RTCM version three, so hit OK. All right, this is finished. The next thing to do is go to reference station. And on here, what we're looking for is we've got a set of coordinates. What we want to do is just get the nearest corrections. So we can hit here and it will then roughly position our coordinates to where we are. Uh, what you can do is further refine those coordinates. Just say uh, you set up your base station on a known position. You can then uh, adjust these reference latitude and longitude and height to your exact position. Uh, what we found is it doesn't really matter with our post-processing of our software. We can change this anyway, uh, as long as all of the, the photo positioning is relative to each other. So once you press here, get your coordinates. That's pretty, pretty close anyway, so you can apply that. And then basically in the post-processing, what you'll do is block shift all of your photo positioning data onto the absolute coordinates. So you can then push OK, and that is done. And the next step from here is to scroll down to the IO configuration. And then once you're in there, there is the port configuration. What we want to change here is the to the end trip caster one. And then from here we're enabling the port 2101. And the identifier and mount point, this is important uh, back in the DJI Pilot app. So we need to remember those settings there. And uh, what we also have here in country, because we're in Australia, is Oz. So the identifier is RTCM32, country, Australia, AUS, and the mount point, RTCM32MP. And you have to remember those settings for our DJI Pilot app to connect it and get those uh, RTK corrections. So once this is done, we then scroll down to RTCM. And what we want is version 3.2. And we also want to enable it. So RTCM is enabled on version 3.2 and then apply or OK. And back in the IO configuration, we should then be able to scroll down and see on Ntrip Caster 1, the port of 2101 and RTCM version 3. So that's good, settings are right. It would apply green if we were getting corrections and it was connected but we haven't connected it through the DJI Pilot app yet, so at the moment it's still red. Once this is done, we can exit out of our web browser and go back to the DJI Pilot app. And sometimes, before we jump into the Pilot app, sometimes you can lose your Wi-Fi connection with your receiver at some point. So if you swipe down, or swipe down from the top, uh, we can see that we have our connection, so everything's all good, but you might have to reconnect it 
as sometimes it can lose it. However, for us it is connected, so we're good. We can enter into the camera view. RTK is not connected, so what we need to do is go to our camera view and in the top right hand corner there's the three dots. We then have the RTK settings. So obviously we want RTK turned on and uh, rather than a custom network RTK set on, well we want to choose custom network RTK and at the moment we have a virtual base station using VRS. We can change these settings to connect to our Trimble base station. So for the entry post uh, that was our IP address. That's 192.168.142.1. Next port 2101. That's fine. The user is admin. And the password is password. The same as what we were using to log into the uh, the Trimble web GUI on uh, when we searched in that IP address of our base station. The mount point, what we're choosing is capitals RTCM 32MP and that is it. Hit save and it should connect. Sometimes it may take a little bit to connect, but once it is connected, it will show it's connected and showing corrections. Uh, this example is showing that the RTK has connected, but the RTK data is not in use. That's because the DJI Mavic is inside so it's not getting those uh, RTK corrections uh, sent to the drone because it's inside. Uh, however, if it was outside, it would save its home point position. It would then receive the corrections between the base and the DJI drone itself, and you would be able to take off. And that's how you connect your DJI Mavic with a Trimble GNS SR12 or R10 receiver and would allow you to get these RTK corrections for your missions. However, there is one drawback to using a Trimble GNSS receiver with your DJI Mavic for RTK corrections. Uh, that is that the controller has to be within Wi-Fi range of the, uh, the R12 or the R10. And if it isn't, you then lose those corrections. So what the, the receiver does, it receives the satellite positioning, the signals, and sends it to the controller, which then sends those corrections to the drone. And if you lose or go outside of that range between the controller and the GNSS receiver, you then can't send those corrections to the drone. And what we found is at about 20 meters or more, you will start to lose that connection between the controller or the drone and not get RTK corrections. So um, if you have a large job, ideally what you want to do is set up your base station in one spot, have your controller near the base station and fly the entire site from that one site or that one position. If you have to set up your base station in multiple spots, it then adds more time because you need to physically move your controller and your drone to wherever the base station is. So you are restricted with your flying. You can't as freely get up and fly from any position of your site. And if the site is really large, then that can become quite a hassle. However, if your controller is close to your receiver, You'll receive those corrections and you'll have RTK corrections for your drone and get those accurate uh, photo positions for your mission. Another handy hint too is connecting your GNS receiver 
uh, to any other DJI uh, drone is basically the same process. The apps may vary slightly, but the settings that we've just gone through are basically the same uh, for all of those DJI drones. So if you can uh, follow this methodology, you can basically connect any of your DJI drones to your D or your um, GPS receiver. So thanks for listening in. And if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below. Otherwise, thanks for tuning in.